Today we're making the shrimp scampi risotto with the garlic zucchini. It's actually a very hard recipe, um, takes probably 35 to 45 minutes. Here's the ingredients that you need. I'm cooking double portion here, so everything that you're seeing soon is going to be double of what I gave in the ingredient list. So let's start preparing the ingredients. Let's have the lemon half into the wedges and then juice the other half. Because there's actually more lemon than I need for the recipe, so I put some of that into my drink that's very healthy and uh, you know has a lot of vitamins for you so let's uh, also trim the zucchini ends half lengthwise and then cut into whatever shape you know smaller half moons then we go on and mince the garlic i recently bought a garlic press mincer very excited so i'm going to use it in the next recipe Next, we need to peel and mince the shallot. Um, be careful, it's a little bit spicy, so I'm wearing gloves there so it's easier to wash afterwards. Next, we need to stem and mince the parsley. Then comes the last big ingredient of the recipe, which is the shrimp. So you see that I've had the shrimp dry actually. Um, regardless of the meat, I always like to pat it dry, especially um, beef, pork, chicken, and so on. So then, you know, the flavor is easier to get into the meat and have an easier time putting the meat into a hot pan. You have less splash hitting your arms and so on. So by now, we got the ingredients ready, the zucchini, the shallot, the parsley, the lemon juice and the garlic, obviously the shrimp. And uh, I'm usually cleaning in the middle of uh, prepping the ingredients so then, you know, it's uh, easier for me at the end. Now let's start cooking the risotto. It's actually the most time consuming step in this recipe. Um, place a medium pot over kind of medium high heat um, and add a little bit of uh, olive oil. Um, then we need to add in the shallot and half of the garlic that we minced. Uh, we need the remaining half for the shrimps. So we add the garlic and the shallot to hot pot, stir it often for probably two minutes. Then we add in the risotto rice, stir occasionally until the rice is kind of toasted. You can see and smell it about one to two minutes. Then we need to add in the um, soup base and one cup of boiling water from other medium pot. Um, with the rice and the rice should be kind of covered by water and stir often until nearly all water is absorbed and from this point we need to kind of repeat this step which is add a pinch of salt and pepper and half cup of boiling water stir often until all water is absorbed that is the step that you need to repeat and you need to just stand by the stove, watch it really closely, um, kind of scrape the bottom a little bit so then you know uh, if things are kind of stick to the bottom of your pot. Um, do that for about 18 to 20 minutes, repeating that step. Uh, for me, I think I repeat it at least six or seven times until um, the risotto that you're cooking is actually um, tender. And when the rice has no more kind of bite or crunch, it's done. But there may be there may be water left, which is okay. Then remove the risotto from the burner. Um, stir in the cheese, half of the butter. Again, we reserve the remaining for the shrimp. A quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and we cover it and set aside. Now we're getting ready to cook the shrimp and zucchini. Heat two teaspoons of olive oil in a large pan over medium high heat. Add the zucchini and a pinch of salt to the hot pan. Cook until almost tender, about four to five minutes. Then add in the shrimp. Um, cook for about two to three minutes per side until they become pink. 
Then we store in the remaining garlic, the remaining butter, parsley, and one teaspoon of the lemon juice. Cook until it's starting to smell pretty good for about 30 to 60 seconds. And then remove all this from the burner. And now we're getting ready to finish the dish. So here's how we finish the dish. Put the risotto as a base on the bottom. And then put the shrimp and zucchini um, that adds the pink color and the green color on the top. And then um, put one or two wedges of lemon just to finish the presentation. Um, and then you can also squeeze in a little bit of the lemon wedges to taste. Bon appetit! Recipe courtesy of Home Chef, and this is the shrimp scampi risotto with garlic zucchini. And it takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, the difficulty is kind of hard considering the risotto, but the shrimp and the zucchini are relatively easier.